Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta. And uh, today what I want to share with you is uh, on a series on how I photo is understanding the hamstick and how to tune the hamstick. A lot of people are out there, can't get their hamsticks, hamsticks to get a proper SWR, they're fed up with them, or they can't just get out and uh, you know, people aren't hearing them. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of things I've been reading on forums and online and uh, yeah, some of them kind of caught my eye. It, you know, number one thing I've seen with the hamsticks is uh, I can't get it to work. Uh, I got my radio, I, the tuner, I tuned it, still can't get it. Well, the first rule of a hamstick is you do not tune it with your auto tuner. You, you absolutely don't want to tune it. Uh, you're just counterintuitive with it. You're, you're tuning a uh, non-resident antenna at that point. What I want to show you is I want to show you how we're going to tune it one thing without uh, an antenna analyzer you don't need anything really special it's nice to have an antenna analyzer but you could do it without and there's some there's a couple secrets i've learned over the last couple years of using these hamsticks and how to get out on them and uh, i've used them on barbecues i've used them on um on my car of course i've used them on uh, just about anything metal that I would stick to and uh, one thing I did find is you need to possibly tune them every once in a while on different different vehicles and stuff. And that's kind of a pain in the butt, especially if you're using that little Allen wrench that comes with the hamsticks. Uh, I'll show you the, what I've done with my hamsticks is I've taken out that little Allen screw and ditched it and threw in a metric screw or whatever is the proper size for your particular hamstick. And um, I put a Phillips screw in there. Now that makes it a lot easier because you're just using a screwdriver you're not you're trying to find that little allen wrench or it's stripping out uh, put a screw in there you're fine that's the first step that i've done um second thing i've done is uh you got uh 40 meters has always been the one that's been a really pain in the butt to tune um it's very narrow banded uh if you're using the foam band ssb uh the, the top part of the band it's going to be quite a bit different than what you're going to be working in digital or CW. Um, you really have to go out there and actually move it about an inch to, to tune it. Um, and I found, I found something that's going to be really cool. You guys are going to love this one because, I mean, it, it's, when something's right in front of you and you see it every day and it just doesn't snap, all of a sudden a light bulb goes off, you're like, wow, that, that's cool. That, that's going to work. Let's, see, let's, so, uh, let's use 40 meters, for instance. You want to, you want to go on 40 meters. Uh, you're you're tuned on 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 the top part of the van, and you got to narrow it. You could you could take another another whip that's shorter and screw it on. But I got something that's even better. Let's grab the forty meter one. Here's the forty meter whip. Now, of course, if you've done radio for a bit, you'll know. If you want to get lower in the band, you're going to have to extend your whip. And if you want to go higher, you make it shorter, right? If you're on the field, you could put put this on your vehicle or whatever you have it on. If your hamstick, uh, your mag mount or a trucker's mount, uh, I use a spring mount here on the Jeep. And then I use a mag mount on my car. Um, if I want to, If I want to fine tune it, I'll get my screwdriver out. And I would slowly push it in or out. And final part of the band is the best using just a simple SWR gauge um, or meter on my, my radio. Now, how about this? How about let's get something that we can adjust without using any tools and we could micro adjust to get right where we want to be. We want to work at that part of the frequency. It could be on 10 meters. It could be at the bottom part. It could be on FM. We want to adjust this. That's what you have to do. You have to adjust this. Don't use your tuner. What are we going to do? Well, how about we put a telescopic whip where the whip's going to go? See where I'm going with this? Right now, we're at this length. See the difference on it too? Using a telescopic whip, we can make it shorter or longer. And then in turn, when we're on the bands and we want to get right to that nice one-to-one -one SWR, we want to make this hamstick, which is not, it's really a compromised antenna, but we want to make it as efficient as we can. 
let's just slowly adjust the whip. That's how we're going to do it. Now, I built this one. I just simply used a little uh, part of an antenna that would usually put a whip in. Uh, I soldered the two together, put some heat shrink on it, and I bought this off Amazon, this little whip. It cost a few bucks. Very flimsy. I don't think I would be driving down the road with it. Uh, it definitely is going to break. But for stationary, it works awesome. Or let's say, hey, right there is exactly what I need. I love it. I don't love this antenna that's really flimsy. I want to go hit a tree with it or something, right? Take the whip and very forgiving, right? We put the whip on there and we adjust the whip to exactly the same length as what we had as our test subject, our telescopic whip. Then you can cut it. Because remember, you only can cut it once, right? You can't put together a cut. I mean, you can weld it together, but that's the problem a lot of people have. They don't want to cut this whip. It comes out of the box as a full length. And then some of them, as you can see here, they're all different lengths. I'll try getting somewhere. Some of them are up to like about 10 inches shorter than others. So it's really, really, a lot of people are hesitant on, on cutting off 10 inches of the whip. Is that gonna be too much? Or how do you go in there? You can't, you only can push it into the, into the bottom part of the hamstick so much until the bottom's out. Having this telescopic whip is gonna give you a good gauge. It's almost like a tape measure, but a real life tape measure that you could use. So for now, I'm gonna say bye. And you guys, I did test this out in the field does work anything i put out i test and i'm going to be using this to fine tune everything and i'm going to do a couple of videos out in the field on exactly how it works so hey for now 73s y'all and see you hams on the bands